My pronouns are they, them, but when I am a puppy, my pronouns are she, her. My puppy name is Pup. People keep trying to give me a name, um, and it's not gonna happen because Pup is my name. For me, being a puppy is sort of like the ultimate act of trust and obedience and freedom all at the same time um, because you're like giving up yourself to these animalistic instincts and trusting someone else to take care of your well-being and control your behavior and your routine um, so yeah for me it's kind of like the ultimate act of obedience by accident um, it's it, in a very wholesome way um, it happened really really naturally when I was I think 21 with the then sort of like love of my life um, and I can't pinpoint the exact moment that it happened I think it came in part from an already established um, dominant submissive dynamic and then my really intense love of dogs um, and it just happened really really fluidly and then we were like in pets at home in Camden buying my first lead and collar and a bowl and a toy and treats um, and then it just was. <laughs> No, no, um, it was something that we came to together and explored together um, and we never did any research, we didn't look up online or meet any other kinky puppies or anything like that, it was just something that we did very privately, the two of us, within our relationship, which is why I think my version of being a pup is very like real um, very based on real puppy behavior real puppy training um, real like puppy owner dynamics because it kind of happened in a bit of a vacuum yes this is my favorite puppy toy um, it's like very solid but it's flexible as well um, and it's very easy to clean um, and this one's my favourite because you can like chew on it, I get given it as a treat, as a comfort especially as well um, and it kind of, it makes my jaw ache because I hold onto it really really tight. Um, but yeah, this one's my favourite and I have a rope chew toy that's like a tug of war um, that I love but I'm not allowed to use it all the time because it, it's bad for me. Mm. Um, I like the Sawneys um, because if I have Sawneys like a couple of days after a really long session of being a puppy, it reminds me of that time and it kind of takes my mind back to that session and how I felt and how like fun it was or how calm I felt or how obedient I felt. Um, so I love that sensation because it's really like grounding. It's a really special thing for me to have when I'm in like a normal situation to remind me of my puppy life. But you can get um, knee pads that are specifically for dancers that are quite subtle. Um, if you didn't want to have sore puppy knees, then I would recommend those. Uh, Chimkin, definitely. Yeah, um, lots of chicken, like cut up into little pieces, roast chicken, rotisserie chicken, like chicken wings. Any, any chicken is puppy's favorite treat. Um, one of my ex handlers used to use little pieces of chicken when they trained me um, and when they were teaching me to do tricks um, or just rewarding me for being well behaved. That's what would get put in my little bowl. Um, the same handler when I was being trained, if they wanted to give me a healthier snack, 
they would give me little pieces of apricot, little pieces of fruit as like a more balanced puppy diet, I guess. Um, and my current pup mummy, when I'm really, really well behaved, will give me Stella in my bowl. For me, they probably fall into like three broad categories. Um, one is sort of obedience, and that's when I'm following instructions, being trained, being made to do tricks, or um, being like looked after by one of a, hand a handler's friends or like a dog carer. Um, and that's kind of when I have to really focus on doing what I'm told, being very obedient, following instructions, trying to understand what is wanted of me. Um, another one is, um, it, yeah, excitement. Excitement and playfulness, which is kind of my general resting state as a puppy. Um, and that's kind of a really real representation of that manic excitement and joy and enthusiasm that you see in puppies like when they're out and about um, and that's when a kind of strong handler comes in really handy to uh, handy um, to kind of like wrangle that excitement and tame it a little bit um, and then the final one for me is like a state of puppy calm um, and that is a lot more sort of real as well. It kind of, to me, it looks like a real interaction between a pet and an owner of like resting, um, being in the home together, like doing normal things that you would do with your pet or just having your pet around. So like when I'm just on someone's rug or I'm lying down in bed with my toy, um, that's kind of when I feel really calm. My ex-handler used to put me to sleep in front of the fire, um, like by his feet while he read a book or was on his phone. And that kind of encapsulates that feeling of puppy calm for me. No, <laughs> no, um, I, I, I don't, find that a helpful phrase, first of all, I think. Um, I don't think I've ever seen a standard relationship. Um, but I think if you think more in terms of like a conventional relationship, I still wouldn't say that it's necessarily better um, because it's, it's so specific. Like it's such a strong dynamic to have that I don't think it would work for everyone. Um, it requires a huge amount of trust and commitment on the part of the puppy to give over their kind of well-being to their owner um, and give away their control. And then it's a lot of responsibility for a pup owner or handler because they're responsible for this little being, just like if you had a furry dog. So you know, I can only imagine that that would be some people's absolute worst nightmare. Um, so I don't think it's better, but it's definitely the best for me. Nothing. I don't wear anything as a puppy apart from my tail. Um, and sometimes my puppy mask, but not even always. My puppy mask, sometimes if I'm with my pup mummy, I have my hair in bunches so that they're like long cocker spaniel ears. Um, but it's a question I get asked a lot and it always makes me laugh because I'm like, why are you dressing up your dogs? Dogs don't wear clothes. Puppies don't wear clothes. I'm not gonna wear clothes. Yeah. Um, I love walkies so much, um, they're the best. You kind of get to explore a whole different part of being a puppy when you go for walkies outside because you get to really lean into the like excitement and joy of being a puppy and exploring and being in nature um, whilst kind of 
Also having to think about your handler, where they are, making sure you go back to them when you're told to heal. Um, so yeah, walkies are very special. Ideally one day I'd love to live in a place with a big private like outdoor area so that I could go for walkies all the time. Um, winter sucks because walkies don't happen in the winter. So I'm looking forward to the summer. Yeah, definitely. Um, I would say it's kind of the perfect place if you want to explore playing with a puppy or having a puppy, then it's a great place to do it because I think there will be puppies at events and most handlers, if you're very respectful in the way that you approach them and ask them, then they would be happy to let you pet their puppy and play with them. Um, or talk to you about it as long as yeah as long as you're super respectful and ask for their consent um, and if you want to try being a puppy then it's great as well because there'll be plenty of people who want to give you head pats and scratches and play with you um, so I think it's ideal I think most people are generally happier if there is a dog at any given event um, I think it probably applies at a fetish event as well I am a costume maker um, outside of kink, so I make costumes mostly for ballet and opera, um, and I have a drag company, so I'm a drag king, and the company is called Pex Drag Kings, um, so like the other way around, not what you see on RuPaul, um, which is pretty wonderful, and together those things take up a lot of my time when I'm not being a puppy. I don't think there's any like one singular thing about being a puppy that I would choose as the best thing. For me it's the whole experience of being a puppy because it's a level of freedom and allowing myself to accept that being a puppy for me is very real. It's a very important part of my life and a very important part of who I am as a person. Um, so, being a puppy, being around people who accept that and even enjoy that um, and want to be a handler is really, really special. I think that's probably the best thing about being a puppy for me. Me. I'm a good boy. The goodest boy. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.